The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. Rooms Holding will open its fifth hotel in Abbasumani early in 2025, as the executive director of the company, Valery Chakharia, said during his visit to TV program Real Estate Prospect. The company's future plans are related to the going outside of Georgia. In addition, the company expresses interest in Samagrela and Kakheti regions. Our group has no interest in Tskhaltubo, but creating a good balneological resort will bring results. Tskhaltubo has great potential, however, it's necessary to build infrastructure in order to improve Tsaldupo Resort. Currently, we are focused on Abastumani and we want to go outside the country after its opening. We want rooms to be in Europe as well, said Valery Chakharia. Rooms is a young and independent lifestyle hotel brand based in Georgia that has quickly emerged as the leader of distinctive hospitality experiences in the region. Since 2012, the rooms has been shaping history and establishing Georgia's global travel destination. The brand now operates with three hotels in total, including Tbilisi, Khazbeki and Batumi. Tbilisi Mall will be renovated. The renovation project is led by LSG Solutions, while the construction works are carried out by the Meta Company. The process is carried out in full compliance with international construction and safety standards and covers a total of seven months in order to achieve quality results in a short time. The construction is carried out using innovative, fast tying products. The main works are carried out at night while Tbilisi Mall can function perfectly and receive visitors without interruption. Tbilisi Mall is the first mall in Georgia that offers customers a multifunctional shopping center for 11 years. It's important for us to constantly offer them innovations and special infrastructure, said Tamar Kikwadze, head of business development of Tbilisi Mall. Tbilisi Mall was opened in 2012. The mall occupies 74,000 square meters, which includes international brands, fast food establishments, a hypermarket, car food, children's entertainment facility, a contact zoo, cinema, kawaya and 2,000 parking lots. Wedding Service Center Dress Code, which has been operating on the market for 10 years and offers wedding dresses and accessories to the customers, is expanding. As the founder of Wedding Service Center, Hatuna Lachwiri, told BMDG, at this stage, renovation works are underway in the exhibition space, and from the end of March, the exhibition space will be located on two floors. According to her, a total of 50,000 lari is invested in the renovation of the space. Moreover, we plan to add a shoe line and bridesmaid dresses this year. The new directions should be added from March. Launching of a shoe line will be made as a result of collaboration with Turkish designers and wedding shoes will be imported from Turkey. We also became active in the direction of electronic commerce. We are represented on the e-commerce platform Ozone. Because we are new on the website, our dresses are sold with 20% discount. Dochiri says adding that the company has offers from the USA, Italy and Armenia Mania to open their stores. As for the last year, according to the Twitter 2023, was steadily growing in terms of sales and the prices were not adjusted. 60% of their customers are locals and 40% are foreigners. A new wine salon victory was opened on Bakhtrioni Street in Tbilisi. Speaking to BMDG, its co-founder Nino Koridze notes that the wine salon was opened just a month ago. Brand Victory has been producing quarry wine with the traditional methods for years. Wine production is our family business. A few years ago, we started with only one variety. We produced 500 bottles of Chinabuli, which we soon exported to the Netherlands. After positive feedback, we increased the production and currently we produce about 4,000 bottles per Year, of which 40% is exported. Recently, we added Sweden and Austria. The rest is sold on the local market in wine shops, says Nino Koridzes. The co-founder of Victory says the goal of the salon is to promote small wineries and introduce them to wider audience. The wine salon offers Georgian dishes to the customers to better introduce Georgian cuisine to tourists. Wine Salon Victory employs five people in this salon and future plans of the company includes the opening of a second brand in Vaka as well as launching a hotel under the same brand in Kakheti and construction of a new wine cellar. 
Five Georgian brands participated in the children's closing exhibition Playtime Paris 2024 with the support of Enterprise Georgia. Last week, Astro Kids or Co. Shirov Kids says the mood and retro kids represented their products at the exhibition. International exhibition Playtime is one of the most important events in the children's clothing sector, which focuses on trends and quality. About 200 brands and 5,000 victors from five different countries attend the exhibition. Fashion companies showed the latest collection and trends of the upcoming season at the Playtime Paris. The event was quite successful for Georgian companies. Several international buyers from France, China, Germany, Korea, Italy and other were interested in Georgian children's closing. Georgian companies have received trial orders and at this stage concrete negotiations are underway with international customers regarding the signing of final orders. Kamo Winery, located in the village of Lisi near Tbilisi, is starting to work on exports this year as the founder of the winery, Levan Kamushadze, told BMDG. The winery started operating in the market initially with a small seller, but now they have a new seller with 23 clay jars. According to him, out of the mansion, which is only five clay jars are utilized at the moment and it's planned to increase the production in the future. We have invested over 140,000 USD to build a cellar, but another 100,000 USD is needed to fully equip it. In the new wine cellar, we planted Kisi, Saperavi and Gorulim Tswane. In total, we produced 2,000 bottles. At first, we sold wine in the local market, but the demand was so great from abroad that we are planning to develop in the export direction. At this stage, we are negotiating with several European countries, in particular with Germany, Italy and Lithuania, where a small amount of wine is paid to export it by the end of the year, says Levan Kamushadze. According to him, the wine industry plans to increase production by 200%. Nato Razmadze, founder of Panorama Lelubani, declares that they are planning to add a new cottages this year. The cottages are located in the village of Lelubani. According to her, Panorama Lelubani has been on the market for more than a year and until now it manages one cottage. During the year one, our workload amounted to 85%. Most of our guests are locals, but we are also visited by tourists from Azerbaijan and Hindu. Our cottage can host six people and the cost of accommodation starts from 150 lari and for its complete arrangement we invested about 20,000 USD. We have 3,000 square meters of land plot. One cottage will be placed at one end of the plot while the second at the other side of the land, Srasmadze said. According to her, at this stage the necessary funds for investment are being calculated and it's planned to apply to the agency enterprise Georgia. Panorama Lelubani is located 15 kilometers away from Tbilisi. Winery Velino's new restaurant will be launched from 2025. Pekka Jim Sherlatze, the founder of the winery, told BMDG according to him, the winery already has a wine tasting space and with the new project it will expand further. As for the restaurant space, their focus will be mainly on wine. The visitors will be introduced to the history and culture of Georgian wine in Velino. All works should be completed this year and the wine tasting and restaurant space will be launched in 2025. In order to fully implement this project, a total of 1.2 million lari should be invested, Jim Sheladze says. Bellino Winery is located in Sagarejo, which appeared on the market in 2016. The wine company produces seven types of wine and 20,000 bottles per year, which are fully exported to 13 countries worldwide. Until now, the winery invested a total of 1.5 million lari. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.